So we'll do a roll call. And now we're live streamed. All right, so we'll do a roll call. So as hopefully you all know, I'm Mr. Fuller. I am the proud principal here at Carver Steam Academy High School. I'm um, going on my second year of principalship here at Carver. Uh, and it's been a great, it's been a great one. So I'm excited and um, very energetic for um, the opportunity to continue to serve as the principal. Um, it's been some of the most impactful work in my life. And so I'm excited just where we're at as a school and, but also where we're going. But my name is Mr. Andrew Fuller. I'm also dropped my cell phone number in the chat. So if you guys need to get a hold of me or reach me at any time, I try to make sure my parents have and supporters have the number they can meet um most accessible um so that's in the chat this time as well hi everyone i'm carla wells this is my second year serving on the gold team as a parent member uh and vice chair i have a daughter nia Wells. she is now in 11th grade very hard for me to believe that but very excited to continue to work um at Carver and serving on the gold team and just super excited about the new year. So glad to be here. Thank you. Hey, I'm Adam Stanley. Uh, this is my second year on the good team as well. I am starting my seventh year as a teacher. And I also have a freshman at Carver Steam this year, my daughter, JC. Uh, is attending and we're excited that she's there. Cool. Hey, I'm Wayne Christian. It is my first year um, being a member of the GO team. I am a parent. Um, I have an 11th grader named Marcus. I'm happy to join the team. Uh, what's going on, y'all? Devon Woodruff here. Um, second year on the GO team, I believe, as a community member or whatnot. Um, um, yeah, Carver alum, so graduated in 2014. I live in the South Atlanta neighborhood pretty much my whole life. And, um, yeah, doing ministry at Carver as well as Price Middle School. And, um, yeah, excited to be here. Um, I know that Pepper isn't here, but she is still you know, a part of it. We're both at a retreat, uh, work conference right now, so she's got some stuff on. Nice. Let's see. Got a few more people to hop on and introduce yourselves, please. Hello, everyone. I'm camera off, but I'm Miss White, and I um, do community engagement for Purpose Built and work with the kids um, in the community or various engagements or cultivation activities. Ms. Benaga, I love the hardwood. I'm sorry, I was... <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm Miss Monago. I'm the proud parent liaison here at Carver Steam. I'm a part of the um, support team for the Gold Team um, this year, of course, as we kind of um, map out new nominations. Thank you. Nice to meet everyone. Anybody else on here? Hi, Mr. Fuller. Um, of course, I'm Carolyn Barnett, uh, Executive Director for Strategy and Governance for Atlanta Public Schools. Always um, glad to support Carver Steam in their efforts um, with their GO teams and anything else they need. So thank you. Well, I'm here to support. Right. See, I got a couple more. Um, got a Ms. Howe and Ms. Collins and Mr. Ford. You just want to hop on our class and introduce yourselves? Hey, my name is Mr. Ford. I'm one of the Dean of Students up at Carver. It's good to see you all. Good to see you again, Ms. Barnett, too. We've worked uh, quite a bit together uh, with Go Team. So good to see a lot of you all here. Hello, everyone. I'm sorry I had to keep my camera off, but I am Ms. Collins. I'm an English teacher at Carver, 12th grade. 
Um, and I also work with some organizations in the city, such as Equity and Education. So I'm happy to be here. Oh, sorry. So I think that's pretty much everybody on the meeting. Uh, Ms. Barnett, I may ask you to step in on one part here that I don't have from me, but we'll see how it goes. So we're going to go ahead and call this meeting to order. Good afternoon, everybody, slash good evening. Uh, welcome to Carver Steam's Go Team meeting, where we will follow the agenda as it is shown uh, that I previously showed on the screen. Um, I am pleased to call this meeting to order for Carver Steam. Uh, I will act as the capacity of interim Go Team chair for this meeting, which means for those of you who are new, or if you remember, typically the meeting is not led by me, it's led by the GO Team Chair. Um, but today I'll lead the meeting since it's the first one. And I'm gonna do my best I can, y'all, so just bear with me, okay? Our first order of business is to call, is to do a roll call, which we've done, and we've all introduced ourselves. And so this is the GO Team. I do believe some people on the GO Team in this meeting will have to be voted on to a position. Um, but at this time, this is the capacity of the GO Team as which it stands. Um, at this time, we need to establish quorum. Mr. Stanley, if you don't mind, could you act as the secretary um, for this meeting? Um, and so, Mr. Stanley, if you don't mind, do you have that list of GO Team members? I sent you the 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 actual list of people we have from last year. Um, yeah, let me see if I can find it. Pull it up. In a, in, a, in a go team meeting, this team will only be able to take action action if official quorum is met. And so quorum means that we have, I believe, what was it, three fifths of the go team present? Is that correct, Ms. Barnett? Yeah, it's a majority. Yep. Which is, um, for you all, it appears right now you have some vacant seats. Um, and so right now to establish quorum, you would need four uh, GO team members. Right. And we'll be filling your seats tonight. Correct. So I believe we have one, two, three, and four here right now. And Ms. Wells, Mr. Woodruff, Mr. Stanley, and Ms. Weiss, if I remember correctly. So I do believe we are at quorum. And Mr. Christian was just voted on oh, great. the GO team as well awesome so mr mr secretary at this time do we have quorum mr stan <laughs> mr secretary yes, <laughs> awesome mr christian man it's good to see you i thought i saw you at the game the other day too it's great to see you i look forward to connecting a little more i gotta show you my new um i gotta show you something when we get a chance all right um so we need a majority of the GO team members in attendance to vote on agenda items. Having quorum protects the school by preventing a very small number of members taking action on behalf of the entire school. We will proceed with today's discussion and information items. Action items will be tabled until quorum is established. Of course, we have quorum. And so today the action will be, the action will be filling any vacant seats we may have. Um, May I have a motion to approve the agenda? I'll go ahead and put the agenda back on the screen again so we can all see it. But I need a motion to approve the Atlanta Public Schools agenda. Do I have a motion? I make a motion that we approve the agenda as presented. <clears throat> Is there a second? I second that motion. Is, are there any amendments that are needed to the agenda? Are there any amendments that are needed to the agenda at this time? Is, if all in favor of the current agenda, please say, please raise your hand and say aye. And Mr. Stanley can record your vote. Awesome. We will now move to filling vacant seats, uh, the open community member seat and the open swing seat before. Before we begin this process, I'd like to remind the GO team members of the following. The principal brings forth the nominations for vacant and open community seats. All GO team members have only one vote per seat. Individuals filling a vacant seat will serve until the conclusion of the seat's term. 
individuals filling an open seat will serve for the full two term, two year term, excuse me. Upon approval, individuals are immediately full GO team members and may join the meeting. Item B is fill vacant seats. We'll begin by filling our vacant seats. These are seats which have been vacated prior to the end of the term. I have the following nominations for our GO team's vacant seats and my rationale for the nomination. So I believe, Mr. Stanley, help me out here. What was the vacant, do you know what the vacant ones we have right now? Um, we have uh, two instructional staff vacancies. Um, we have one parent or guardian vacancy. And then we need to nominate our students. Got it. And so I know Ms. Collins is on right now. And Ms. Collins, are you interested in joining the GO team as a full member participant? I surely am. Can I get a, um, so can I get a motion to nominate Ms. Collins as the staff member, or as, as the instructional representative for the GO team? I make a motion to nominate Amani Collins as the instructional staff member on the GO team. I second. I second it. Oh, everybody's ready to go to get Ms. Collins on. Awesome. So it sounds like if we're all in favor, if we say aye. Aye. If the ayes have it, Mr. Stan, if you can record uh, that Ms. Collins will now be our instructional representative for the GO team. Uh, Ms. Stan, I also heard you represent. We have a vacancy for a community member. Yeah, so, so we have, um, I believe we might actually have two instructional staff vacancies because Mr. Cook is no longer at Carver and Ms. Joseph left as well. So I think we have another instructional staff vacancy. Um, okay. And then we um, we have a, uh, we have Ms. Wells and Mr. Christian. And then we also have Ms. Morgan who is not here as a parent guardian. And then Mr. Woodruff and um, Ms. Peppers that are community members and Ms. White their swing seat. Got it. Is that, that's what I think I would. Yeah, that sounds correct. And so it looks Absolutely. like I know we invited somebody else for the opportunity to, to be on the vacant staff seat, but it looks like they're not here, correct? Um, Ms. Morgan was on that list that was um, nominated and voted on with Mr. Christian. Okay. So just stand again. So Stanley, tell me like, just real quick, what other seats do we have to fill right now, just so we're on the same page? Uh, we have one more instructional staff vacancy and uh, our student, two students. Okay, so I'm gonna move, to, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna make a motion that we table fill in those final two positions until our next meeting. So that way we have some time to nominate a student. If I can get I, a- um, I, Yeah, I'll direct. second that okay so if we if we can be all in favor we're going to those two vacancies we need a little more time to determine who could fill those final two vacancies we have in a student representative and um one more staff representative if we're all in favor of tabling those two um spots to our next meeting if we're all in favor can we say aye 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 Aye. Awesome. Mr. Fuller, I apologize. You do have oh, um, you have a the swing seat is open. Um I I understand that you would like for if that's Ms. Devon, you would have to also bring forth her name because that is an open swing seat. And then I wanted to understand if you have if Mr. Woodruff is going to be the community member um, and Ms. Peppers, that community seat needs to be voted on again for tonight if that's going to be Mr. Woodruff. The job fire, and so they need to just roll back over. Thank you. Sorry for that. 
Oh, no problem. Thank you. Um, well, Ms. Weiss, are you, are you still willing to serve in the swing seat for this year? Yes, that's fine. I'd like to make a motion to um, have Ms. Javen Weiss serve in the swing seat for our GO team for this year. I second. Awesome. If all in favor, can we say aye? Aye. Awesome. Aye. I also have to make a motion to have Mr. Devron Woodruff um, serve in, the, in one of the community member seats uh, for this current school year. Um, Mr. Woodruff, would you accept that? Yeah, absolutely. If can I get a, um, a, a somebody to please uh, put a motion to have Mr. Woodruff serve in the community member seat? I make a motion that Mr. Woodruff serves as a community member. Awesome. And I second it. All in favor? Please show by the raise the hand. Say aye. Aye. Awesome. And then um, Ms. Barnett, uh, I'm Mr. Stanley, sorry, Ms. Ms. Peppers, is she coming back this year or is that going to be Mr. Christian now? Uh, Mr. Christian's a parent. Um, he's, oh, he's, he's serving as the yeah. So Ms. Peppers isn't here right now, is she? No. Got it. Okay, so we will have to... Um, so we'll have to pause on the final vote for the final community member seat. So and the Ms. student seat, that correct? No, Ms. Pepper's term is, um, her term does not expire until 2024. So she is fine as your um, community, even community member. Her, her seat does not expire till next June. So Got now it. you have your two community members. You have uh, Ms. Pepper's and Mr. Woodrow, and his term will um run from now until 2025. Then you Perfect. have um, Ms. Uh, Javon, which her term will now expire in 2025. And Ms. Collins is taking Dwight Cook's place. Right. And is Marsha Williams still a part of? OK, so then you do have another um, staff person that you another staff person you need to fill in that seat and then you also I believe is Queen La Rosa is that person okay no. so then um, we need to reach out because as a parent seat we need to see if that person has um you know, um has forfeited their seat or um intends to come back or do we need to reach out for another parent? And then you'll do your two student seats at your next meeting. But as right. far as all of your members right now, you're good. You have um, Ms. Carla Wells, Mr. Wayne Christian, your two parents. You'll probably need a third one. And then you have Mr. Stanley, Ms. Collins as your two staff members and you'll fill the vacant seat you have Ms. Peppers, Mr. Woodrow as your community member, and Ms. White. So you're good. Awesome. Okay, uh, moving right along, y'all. Moving right along. So um, the next part we'll be going to, and I might need help with this also, but we'll go into approving the previous meeting minutes. So our previous secretary is no longer with us, so we don't have the previous meeting minutes, I believe. Um, is it okay to make a movement to surpass those minutes at this time? You can table this and then um, bring it up at the next meeting. Awesome. So I'll, I'm, we're going to take. So I'm going to put a motion to table last year's meeting minutes to the next meeting. That'll give us time to track those down. So that, since that staff member is no longer with us, um, can someone second that mo motion, please? I second. Awesome. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Thank you. All right, so we're going to item G, and it says election of GO team officers and representatives. We will now 
move to the electing GO team officers and representatives. Before we begin nominations, I'd like to remind the GO team of the following. Nominations do not have to be seconded. A member may nominate themselves. A member may nominate more than one person for any position. A member may decline a nomination during the nomination process. Uh, students may fill an, any officer position. Members may not serve more than two consecutive terms in the same officer position at the same school. <laughs> Nominees do not have to leave the room during the process. If there is more than one nominee per, per elected office, each nominee will be offered an opportunity to share why they should be in the selected seat. The new elected officer will assume their position starting at the conclusion of this meeting and serve for one year or until the new officer is elected. All voting members have only one vote per seat. First, we will elect the GO Team Chair. As a reminder, the responsibilities of the chair include, but are not limited to, leading the GO Team meeting, working with the principal and GO Team to develop meeting agendas, ensuring every GO Team member has an opportunity to be heard, and monitoring team compliance. And just so y'all know, like, compliance is like, Ensuring that meetings are posted on the website and ensuring that it's streamed, the recordings available for the community and stuff like that. Um, I will now open the floor to receive a chair nomination. Floor is open. Chair is a very important position. I know, you, but I, I see it in your all's faces. Anxious. Stanley, you were the chair last year, right? Correct? I was, yes. So you can't do it again. You can serve two years consecutively. Okay. Let's check. I nominate Adam Stanley. Did such a great <laughs> job last year. Boss? Well, that, that nomination does not have to be seconded. Uh, Mr. Stanley, do you accept the nomination to serve as GO Team Chair? Yes, I accept. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Stanley. Thank you very much. Um, if there are no further nominations, I would close the floor. We'll be we'll begin the confirmation process. We have we have one person to be considered for this chair seat. Uh, the nomination for chair is Mr. Stanley. Mm -hmm. At this time, I will offer each chair nominee an opportunity to explain why. Because this, Mr. Stanley is the only chair nominee. Um, <laughs> he doesn't have to explain. <laughs> Other GO team members may ask the nominee questions. Uh, if, if you have any questions for Mr. Stanley at this time, please feel free to share the questions. Otherwise, we'll resume with the uh, nominations. All right. Well, we don't have to have a vote since Mr. Stanley is the only person, so we'll just skip that part for now. Um, now we need to elect the GO team's vice chair. As a reminder, the responsibilities of the vice chair include, but are not limited to, ensuring the GO team follows preliminary procedure, working with the principal and chair to develop meeting agendas, acting, at the, acting as the chair if the chair is not present. I will now open the floor for a vice chair. Nomination. Well, I believe you said you can nominate yourself, but I am willing to serve a second term as vice chair if the body so happy. The floor is open. We have one self nomination for vice chair. Going once, going twice. Ms. Wells is now the <laughs> vice chair, serving her second term in the Carver Go team uh, position. Congratulations. <laughs> if there are no further nominations, I will close the floor. Uh, and because you're the only so nominee, you don't have to give a speech or anything like that. So we'll continue to move forward. Congratulations. You will serve as the Go team's vice chair. Thank you. Now we will let the Go team's secretary. As a reminder, the responsibility for the secretary include, but are not limited to, 
post and go team documents, agendas, summaries, and minutes to the website at the school, taking minutes at go team meetings, ensuring the go team is in compliance with the Georgia open meetings laws. I will now open the floor for secretary nominations. I'd like to nominate Ms. Collins as the GO Team's secretary. Are there any more nominations for a secretary? Ms. Collins, it sounds like you're the only sole nominee for the secretary of the Carver Go team, would you be interested in serving in this position? I am. Thank you so much for your nomination. Congratulations. You are now the Go team secretary. You will not have to give a speech or anything like that because you are the only nominee. Let's see. Moving right along here, we move it through our agenda. One second, y'all, I open the folder back up. Six of One second, guys, let's get to the next page here. Okay. Now we will now we will let the go teams cluster representatives. Uh, the cluster representative may hold uh, another position, another office position, like chair, vice chair, or secretary. As a reminder, the responsibilities of the cluster representative are as followed, but not limited to attending attending all cluster advisory meetings, uh, reporting back to the go team on the cluster advisory team meetings uh, information. I will now open the floor for the cluster advisory team nominee. And this is, I mean, this is a really important position, guys, because it's um, just put out there because the car, the car cluster is changing. It, it there's a lot of good information that comes, and and it really hears what the community wants. And so it's a really, um, it is a really awesome position to be in, especially for the direction where our school is going. Mr. Fella, I'm sorry. How often did you say that the cluster team meets? I'll see here. I want to say, I think I read, is it four times? I, want, I, I believe it's four times a year. Yeah. Um, if, I, okay. if I'm seeing correctly. Okay. I'll be willing to serve if no one else is interested. I nominate Mr. Christian for this position. Okay. Can y'all hear me? Okay, sorry, I was trying to put the charger on. We have a, we now have two nominees. We have a situation here. We have two individuals who could potentially be in the position for um for the cluster representatives. I got a nomination from Mr. Christian, and I got a nomination from Ms. Wells. Are there any more nominations at this time for the cluster representative? Okay, well, I'll now, um, Mr. Christian, you've been nominated for cluster representative. Would you have to share a few interests, ideas, questions around being that individual? Um, I mean, I would have a lot of questions because I don't know what it is, but um, from what you described, I think in general, the growth of the school is based on the growth of the community at large. Um, so, I mean, I'm happy to accept the nomination and and leverage my network any way I can. But I mean, without never, <laughs> what I don't know what it is, but I'm happy to represent.
Oh, one second. Can you um can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Stanley, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. There we go. Sorry, my, my device is messing up. Let's see. All right, so we will continue. So I heard Mr. Christian, uh, he said he wanted to accept the nomination uh, for the GO team seat. Um, Ms. Wells, are you interested in also, or do you like to just go ahead and let Mr. Christian have it? I, I think Mr. Christian will do a great job representing uh, Carver, so I rescind my offer. So it looks like Mr. Christian is now. Mr. Um, Fuller, we would need just the official. We need, Mr. Fuller, we need just a confirmation on from all of the voting members. Gotcha. Are we all in favor of Mr. Christian serving as the cluster representative for the um, for the Carver's Go team? The ayes and have it. Aye. 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 Thank you. So Mr. Christian will now serve as the cluster representative for the Carver Go team. Congratulations, Mr. Christian. Thank you. You'll do great. At this time, I will offer, oh, sorry. Now we'll review and approve public comment protocol. Um, and I'm gonna read the script here, guys. So we will now move to our to our next item of business in reviewing and updating or confirming our Go Teams public comment protocol. Public comment protocols are available for Go Teams to hear from interested members of the community from Section 3.4 of the Go Team Handbook. Opportunity for public comment shall be provided at least four times in a school physical year and noted on the Go Teams webpage and meeting agenda. Go team members will not provide responses or engage in direct conversation during public comment. Each go team will determine a consistent method of uh, method for receiving public comments and for parents and other citizens to sign up to address the team. At least 20 minutes of time will be allotted for public to make comments on meetings where public comment is permitted, and the public will receive at least two business days notice of the public comment protocol. Some tips for public, prom for public comment protocol from the Go Team Handbook is one, the Go Team is not required to schedule time for public comment at every meeting. Two, public comment should be scheduled for major action items, items that need to go, or the items that need the Go Team to vote on, uh, that the public will need input from, or public buy-in. Consider the schedule of the school community for those that do not allow that do allow public comment in order to give your community the best chance to participate. Number four, set a specific time for your public comment period. For example, you could allot a 20 minute segment on the agenda for public comment and allow each member of the public to have two minutes to speak during the segment. At the end of the public comment period, the chair should close public comments and move to the next item. Post a clear process for individuals to sign up or indicate they wish to speak. Number six, go team members should not respond during public period, comment period. The public comment period is designed to gain input from the public, not for immediate response by the go team to the public comment presented. The go team should listen attentively to all and take the sum and take the summation of the comments into consideration when making a decision. Number seven, remind the public that a scheduled public comment period on the agenda is not the only means for providing input. The GO team should encourage the public to, con to contact them via the APS email addresses. Uh, emails sent to the GO team members about school concerns are also considered public comment. If there are urgent matters that need to go to the GO team's attention, the school can organize information sessions or the GO team can schedule separate public comment meetings to gather the information for the stakeholders. Please take a moment to review our current public comment protocol information. Uh, are there any recommendations for updates or changes to the public comment protocol at this time? May I have a motion to adopt the public comment protocol, 
<laughs> public comment protocol, please. I motion to adopt the public comment protocol. A second. Can I get a second for the protocol? I second to adopt the protocol. If we are all in favor of the public comment protocol, can we please say aye? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Set go team meeting calendar. Adhering to the agenda, we will now discuss the meeting calendar for this school year. As a reminder, our GO team is required to have at least six additional business meetings this school year. Four of the meetings must permit time for public comment. Meetings cannot be held during the instructional school day. Meetings must be live streamed and recorded. Meeting locations for hybrid meetings must be placed uh, which, which can accommodate the public, i.e. not a conference room. So it's probably like an auditorium or something like that. May I have any suggestions for recommended meeting times? I think last year we met on Thursdays at five o'clock uh, for last school year. But do I have any comments around what time we could meet consistently? And do we want? And last year we met every single month. Um, and so we have, you know, a, a, we have to make the amount of meetings we need to have, and these meetings are going to try to be in person. So keep that in mind, and they have to be after school hours. Do we have a time that we can meet? Uh, I know Thursday was good last year. I'm open to five o'clock um, and maybe like a hybrid schedule. You know, we can meet virtually uh, as well as in person. I think it works for the group. I was thinking Thursday, Thursday or Thursday of the month at six. So when we do want to do in-person meetings to give times for time for commute for those leaving the office. So yeah, Thursday, I believe I heard Thursday, Thursday at six, six and I heard, I heard Thursday, Thursday at five in a hybrid model. Uh, I'm honestly up for either, but I like the point that Ms. Chris was making about time for commute from work, or even people that do pick up kids and whatnot. So, um, even though five is definitely better for me, thinking about everybody else, I'm thinking six o'clock maybe a suitable time. Six o'clock works for me as well, just any time after five. <clears throat> All right. I mean, I, I know for me, um, Thursdays are the best day for me. As And that's just, I know, for me, those are the best of my schedules because what we have going on at the school all the time. Thursdays would be ideal. Mondays are doable. It sounds like Thursday might work. Does that, does anybody have an objection to Thursday at six? Thursday sounds good for me too. And are you guys in favor of Thursday six on an in-person format or Thursday six hybrid? I would have to do Thursday at six on Zoom or something because it's about to be election season and I'll be at work. So I can go on go on break for a Zoom meeting. I would say hybrid. So I think in combination, I'll say Thursday, 6 p.m. hybrid model, monthly. Got it. 
And then, so I think we're good Thursday at six. Do we want to do like the first Thursday of the month, the fourth Thursday of the month? Is there a particular Thursday that lands well? Um, I was suggesting the third Thursday covering, you know, February month is usually a safe one. So every third right. Thursday of the month. That that's good for me. Does anybody is everybody okay with the third Thursday of the month? I have a meeting on the third Thursdays, but it starts at like seven, seven thirty. So I should be good. I might have to leave a little bit early, depending on. Yeah, I was going to say the same thing. I have a reoccurring function that happens like six forty-five on on the third Thursday. So yeah, if it runs like six forty-five, I may have to leave early too. What do you all do the second Thursday? Just to like, so because I just don't want you know, I want this team to be really impactful this year, and I don't want to feel like we can just rushing out. And I know that's a like I need this team to to get this school where we got to go. So. Is this, how about the I'm open the second. I'm open the second. Yeah, okay. second is cool. Works for me. All right, so we're all in favor. If we're all in favor of the second Thursdays of the months um, at six, can we please get a uh, just an I? I know I'm good. Hi. 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 Hard and Green, good. Awesome. So we established that we will now meet in a hybrid fashion. Um, and I'll make sure we meet in person. I'll make sure we you know, take care of everybody and make it a really um, a nice event for sure. And um, we now we will be at six o'clock Thursdays in a hybrid format on the second Thursdays um, of the months. And Ms. Stanley and myself will organize a calendar and get that sent out to everybody. And then Ms. Collins, as the secretary, will moving forward, we'll all work together to make sure that calendar is tight and everybody has a um, everybody has a um, a calendar invite for those meetings. Let's see here. So we've already determined um, the time for. Oh, sorry. Uh, we now need to determine which meeting will be allocated for public comment. Um, so remember, four meetings have to have public comment. What do we want to say that? Or do we have a suggestion October, November, and then February, March to keep it simple? Could be public comment meetings. Uh, are there any suggestions for public comment meetings? Um, it has to be four of them. Sounds good to me. So Mr. Stan, you just write that down. Let's keep it simple. October, November. Public comment, February, March, public comment. Are we all in favor? I see you got the hands raised, eyes. Yes, have it. aye. Awesome. So October, November, February, March, public comment. Keep it simple. Now it's time to review the uh, Go Team norms. I'm gonna, I will read them um, and they're as followed. So the go team norms is that the go team meeting is for members only. Sorry, this, this is the go team. This is the go team and only members of the team may participate in the discussion. Any members of the public will have to observe quietly. We will be fully present. We will follow the agenda as noticed to the public and stay on task. We'll be respectful of each other's time. We will be open-minded. We will invite and welcome contributions of every member and listen to each other. We will respect all ideas and assume good intentions. We will approach differences of opinion with curiosity. Go teams are encouraged to add to other, add to or otherwise modify the norms to align with the Go team's identity as a group uh, in supporting the school. So I read you as the norms. Uh, do, is there anything special we need to add to the norms? All right. Well, these norms do seem. Um, I should share them with you too. I got my. These norms actually do seem pretty solid. 
Um, I'll also share with you the review for a second as well, just in case you were, if you couldn't hear me. Um, but you should be able to see the normals on your screen. Or is every is are we all in favor to uh, utilize these norms for our go team? All in favor, please say aye. aye. Uh, the, awesome. Aye. aye. Sounds like aye. we're all in favor. Awesome. There it is. We will now move to discussion items on our agenda. Right here. One second, y'all, to find the discussion items. We pulled it up to the discussion items here. So the only discussion, the only discussion item um, I have is really an update of the school and where we're at this overall. And so just going to give you guys an update on the um, the first couple of weeks of school here. So I think something that's really exciting is that Carver has, out, you know, we definitely have increased our enrollment. Um, and we have, how do I say this? Like we have definitely gone way over our projection of students, which means a lot of our kids are opting into Carver. We've had several families from the community decide to bring their kids back to Carver Steam. Um, and so kids who are one, at one point going to schools outside of their zone by some type of choice factor are now returning to Carver, um, including family members who live literally right down the street who are opting out for private school or other charter schools. And so Carver is in a really good place right now as it comes to enrollment. We are we were originally allotted for 26. We're almost to 500 now, uh, which is exciting and climbing. So for a small school like ours. And we're on the up and up for enrollment. And I think that's to the good work of all the teachers and everybody involved here at Carver. Um, and so we're in a really good space as it comes to um, as it comes to enrollment. Uh, we're also fully staffed. And so we have um, we are a fully staffed school. We've also increased our advanced placement offerings um, and we will have AP computer science this year, which will bring us a total of the nine AP courses. Um, we also offer dual enrollment with Georgia State, Atlanta Area Tech, and Atlanta Metropolitan State College. Um, a few updates to my administrative team is we hired Dr. Codwell to replace Dr. Corbett Williams, who got a promotion. So um, our new 12th grade administrator is Dr. Codwell, um, and she'll be holding a senior night in uh, on next week. Ms. Um, Minago, if you're still with me, what day is the senior night, senior and parent night again? August 28th, I believe. It's on um, 30th. August 30th. Yes. And I believe it's from 5 to 6.30, if I'm not mistaken. Thank you so much, Ms. Collins. And so that'll be a time, if you miss interested in meeting our new administrator, um, in a, the senior parent night, it's a great opportunity to come and meet um, our senior administrator. And then um, we also added our another advanced pathway. So Mr. Stanley, who is over our aviation pathway, is leading that up for us. And so we've now added aviation as a full pathway uh, with the vision of one day kids being able to get their pilot's license uh, or, and also being able to have their aviation mechanics license. And so we continue to increase our course load. Um, very excited about the direction of our school. And I'm very confident that, um, that we're doing the right work that is necessary. We still have a long way to go because as, as our community changes and as our kids have more and more needs, we need to continue to evolve with the times. And Carver, our goal is that every kid graduates life ready. That is our vision for the school. And we will be a school that influences our community. And so we will make those changes and we will continue to be competitive and, um, and pride ourselves on being the community school, which is important to, um, to us here at Carver. Questions, comments, concerns around or, or what's going on at Carver, any update or any ideas or any suggestions or any questions around what we have going on, I'd be my best to answer. I have a question, Mr. Fuller. Yes, ma'am. Uh, my question is, are the 10th grade students getting computers at all this year? So we have, 
so we have classroom sets. And so what we found is that with our devices, um, and us being transparent in the past, a lot of those devices would go home, they get broken. Um, they, they don't, they were, they're not used effectively. And as a school, we're going back to the basics. And so our kids are going to write, our kids are going to utilize their, you ut writing utensils and, um, and we're going to not just be so heavy based on you util utilizing the computer. So every classroom has an available classroom cart where kids can utilize devices. Um, but we're going to house them at school. And the one thing is I don't want teachers having the device as like a, as a, basically as, an, as a way to not plan for instruction. And so we are incorporating that teachers have to incorporate device uses into their lesson plans, which are then approved by the instructional coaches. Um, and then teachers can check out a cart, but we're not gonna be super device heavy this year. We're going back to the basics instructionally, um, but devices are available for student use. And also we have computer labs as well. Um, and certain classes have access to technology the entire time. Um, like Mr. Kareem's audiovisual tech class, or stuff like that, there'll be devices available consistently for kids to utilize. Um, but as far as day-to-day -day instruction, our kids will not need devices in order to access instruction, but more to enhance instruction, if that makes sense. No problem. I, were, I grew up with a pencil and paper myself, so I, I was just wondering, if we right. have to sign something for them this year, that was basically. Yeah, I mean, it's just and just being transparent. And like some of our our most our most bright students last year were complaining about stamina on their AP exams for um for AP language, I believe it was, and also for AP US history about writing. And we want to start building that stamina now uh, on writing and being able to utilize pencil and paper and have that fortitude. And so we. We need to instill those muscles, those skills into our kids. Um, it's important. So I appreciate that question. Um, I'm with you. I appreciate you too. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Thank you. <laughs> any more questions, comments, concerns? We're going to Camp Highland and Camp Jekyll again this year. Right. Um, so and something else is exciting. I didn't mention this. Oh, I kind of did with our enrollment going up. We have almost 179th graders from a school that only had 98 last year, maybe a little less than that. Um, so we have a lot of new students, a lot of kids choosing Carver. So we're, we are very, me and Mr. Stanley and our teams, we are very passionate about going to Camp Highland early this year rather than when it's too cold. And so we scratched and clawed and fought and got an earlier time this year. So we had to Camp Highland next week, taking most of the ninth grade class that as long as they bring back, bring back their permission slip, they'll be going, and most kids will. And we'll continue to be diligent on that. Um, but we will have the ninth graders going to Camp Highland um, next week with staff. We're excited for that trip. Um, and we're committed to travel. So ninth grade goes to Camp Highland. 10th grade, Jekyll Island. 11th grade, we'll go to Washington, D.C. 12th grade, we'll go to a, on a senior trip. We're not sure which, one, which is going to be yet. We're still debating the options. But and then we're also going to Europe with our um, with a cohort of students as well. Um, and so we will be traveling this year, both internationally and domestically, which is exciting here at Carver. Mr. Stanley, anything else I'm leaving out, you think? Or we that's pretty much the gist. There's so many good things going on, but yeah. I could keep I could just keep on rambling. I don't want I don't want to do that. Um, oh gosh. All right. One second, guys, is going to see. Go team. Um, save the date. Go team G3 Summit is returning this year on Saturday, September 23rd. Join us for a day to learn all about the power of connections. We hope, we hope all Go teams can attend. The Go team office would like to remind all Go team members that they must complete their orientation training in order, to, in order for their school's Go team to be com in compliance. Please contact them if you have any questions. Um, Major Stanley, tomorrow let's work on getting that email out to everybody on Go Team training. Can we have some new some new folk on here? So we'll we'll focus on getting that email out for Go Team training because I got to do mine. Um, yeah, any any new members of the Go Team will have to do it, just a general training, and also 
if you are in um, an officer, you'll have a, an additional training as well. So just be on the lookout. It's through the APS um, electronic learning platform. Um, and so you'll, there'll be a login and all that information. Yep. Awesome. Well, we've reached the end of our agenda. It's time for adjournment. And we reached uh, that point. Oh my goodness. Is there any additional business at this time to attend to? May I have a motion to adjourn the meeting? I make a motion to adjourn I make the meeting. Motion. Are you, oh, now Backer. you're in. <laughs> second. Have a second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Right. And then at Aye. this time, um, we are now adjourned. Thank you all so much. Uh, it's going to be an amazing year, Carver. We we have something to prove. Uh, we're going to do the best for our students and the most and, and, and serve the community because we are, we're ready and, and Carver's in a good space and it's in good hands with all the amazing staff we have here. So, and good hands with a great GO team. And I'm very confident that we will uh, blow the doors off this thing this year. So I'm excited and I'm, and I'm eager to get going. So thank you guys so much. You'll receive calendar invites for our meetings and, um, and I'm excited to do really good work for the office this year because this, this team will be impactful and meaningful. So thank you all so much for your commitment to Carver. It means the world to me. Um, and I will see you all soon. And of course, feel free to come by. The doors of Carver are always open, y'all. Thank you. All right, thank you, everybody. Good night, Bye. everyone. <laughs>